welcome to the show radio. And now, here is your host, Andrew Alliance. Okay, so right now I'm at uh, Nyko with Mika, and Mika's going to talk about uh, the latest from Nyko and latest accessories and all those things. How are you doing today? I'm doing really well. E3 is a lot of fun. Awesome, awesome. So talk about what you have uh, running right now for Nyko and even some of the things that you currently have available on the market. Uh, right now we have, I think, four products announced at E3, the first of which is our type pad for the Xbox One. The type pad for the PS4 is coming out in August, so we thought we'd go ahead and uh, announce our one for the Xbox One. It is the only type pad on the market for both systems that has the at key and the dot com key, so you don't have to do the whole like holding down shift and hitting a number. It also runs on its own battery life, so you're not drawing any battery from the controller, and uh, I think the PS4 one connects with Bluetooth, and the Xbox One connects to the dongle on the bottom of the controller. They both have pass-through audio cables, so you're not losing functionality, and they're really light. A lot of people at the show are saying that you can't really feel it in your hands, which yeah, is amazing. Because when you look at it, it looks it looks like it's heavy. It looks like something that you don't want to necessarily be moving around all the right. time, but that's not the case you're saying. Not at all. It, it, I love the way it feels in my hands, so that's really good. The next thing that we have is our data bank for the Xbox One. The PS4 version of that came out uh, last weekend before E3. The Xbox One one does differ from the PS4 one because it actually just adds on to the storage you have in your Xbox One already. The PS4 one just replaces your internal storage. The data bank can go up to like five terabytes. It's whatever three and a half inch drive you want to put into your system. Yeah, I wanted to ask you that. Does it matter what size it is? Can it be over five or, or it doesn't really matter? Is five the recommended amount right now? We recommend about four. I know that on PS4, the operating system starts to slow down when you get to 5 or 6, and that's something that Sony has to work on. I know that's the same if you're just replacing the 2.5-inch drive in it. Uh, I know Microsoft, it, you can do higher terabytes with it, so that one you can probably do 5 or 6 without too much lag and too much slowing down. It's really good. Okay, cool. Now, as far as uh, so the speed of the hard drive, it really doesn't matter as long as it's, uh, the size is okay. Right, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, what else do you have? And then we also have our Cygnus controller for Android. Last year at E3, we had announced our PlayPad Pro, which was basically does the same thing. But this one is designed better. It has uh, it's, it's faster to connect on Bluetooth. It fits better in your hands. A lot of people, that's what a lot of people are talking about at the show, that it, it feels like there's nothing in your hands when you're using it. And they really enjoy that they can play a game and not focus on how the controller feels in their hands. Okay, cool. All right, so, um, so as far as uh, the design, as, as you mentioned, it's very lightweight. Uh, so now, can I use it with my tablet, or does, it doesn't matter what, what it you, is, you, as long as it's a mobile device? You can use it with anything that's running Andrew, Android 3.0 or higher. Sweet. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so what else? Yeah, I know you have stuff that's already available uh, on the floor. I definitely want to highlight those, if that's okay. Yeah, you know, definitely. And um, to have that uh, for, for the audience. Which way should we go? Let's go to the left. All right, cool. So let's do that. So we also have uh, a re-release of one of our products. This is the modular charge station for PlayStation 4. When we first released this, it didn't have any pass-through USB cables. So you were taking up both USB ports on the front just to charge your controllers. And some people that were wearing the CAN headphones, they couldn't plug in their USB cord to do so. So we added the USB ports on the back of it. So you still have the functionality of the USB ports while you can just easily charge your controllers, drop them down. And I think a lot of people are going to be happy with that change very on cool, that system. Cool. Yeah. Okay, sweet, sweet. One of the things that us as a company we like to do is um, we focus a lot on charging and rechargeable batteries. So we released uh, some modular items last year called the Charge Dock Minis for the Wii U and the Xbox One. They plug in, the Xbox One one plugs into the side USB port and you can just drop the batteries in. There's no snapping, it's just a simple drop. Drop them in and you can pull them out and charge your controllers. It's very easy to use. I know the Charge Dock Mini for the Wii plugs into the USB in the back and you, it's actually, you can place it wherever you want because the USB cord's a little longer. Same kind of idea with that one. You just pop the batteries in, take one out, put it in your controller and you're good to go. Awesome, awesome. Price points on those? I believe 1999. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Cool. Some other things we announced at CES last year was our light grip for the Xbox One and our console selector. Uh, the light grip is just a attachment onto the controller that has some really cool LED patterns. There's 17 combinations and color patterns that you can use. A lot of people really enjoy the grips on that. 
So if you're not really focused on the lights, you don't have to turn them on, but the grip is very, very nice and, and really inhibits your gameplay. The console selector is like an HDMI switch. There's flawless switching over your HDMIs. There's a button and we also have a controller for that. So it's very easy to plug in a bunch of consoles to your TV without having to give up and switch up the HDMI cords as well. Awesome, awesome. So is, is there anything that, um, that I should ask you that I didn't ask you that you want to make sure that, that, that the individuals would not necessarily attend E3, but you definitely want them to have that information, what would that be? For the databanks, you do have to download the system firmware for the PS4 and the X, or not really the Xbox, it's actually the PS4 one, since it's internal storage. So we do have that on our website. There are pamphlets and the packaging that show you how to download the firmware from the Sony store, put it on your hard drive, and also to transfer your files from one to the other. We also have videos of that that I have made and put on the company YouTube channel, so you can go check those out as well if you don't like reading pamphlets. So. Yeah. Awesome. So where can they find you, uh, your website and, and uh, socials and stuff like that? We are Nyko.com. We have at Nyko Tech on Twitter and Nyko Tech on Facebook. Awesome. Mika, thank you so much for your day, for your time. Of course. Enjoy the rest of your E3. You're listening to The Show Radio. Visit our blog at theshowradio.info. Subscribe and rate us on iTunes at theshowradio.info slash iTunes. theshowradio.info slash iTunes.